Okay there ladies, we're doing the corner to corner curve at the moment and I've cut my pieces and I'm stitching them together. I've tried doing it as it was in the book but I've had a bit of difficulty with that so I'm going to show you the way I've been doing it. Um, I mean in the book it's fine to begin with. It says fold that one in half to crease, put a creased line there in the middle and do the same with the outer piece. So there, crease line in the middle. Then you're going to put them right sides together, crease to crease. There. And put a pin in there to hold it in place. Then you go into one edge, making sure those are in the right place. Put in another pin in there. Now, so far, this is as they're doing it in the book. And the same with the opposite edge. Pin in there. Now, in the book, they're saying to stitch it a quarter of an inch seam making this fit as you go. I found I, I couldn't do that. My fingers don't work like they used to. I couldn't push and pull this along. So what I'm, I've done is I've got it and I've stretched the two pieces because this one's got a lot of give in it, the top one. And you want to work with the smaller one on top and shiggle it <laughs> so that they meet in. Okay, then I'm putting it over my finger, putting a pin in. Then I'm doing the same to the next little piece, leaning it over my finger, with that smaller piece on top, putting another pin in. So I've now got four pins in that, that side and I'm going to do the same, put another two in the other side now. Now I'm ready to start stitching it. So I got my quarter of an inch foot on. I'll try and do this so you can see what I'm doing. So I need to get the, the foot down. Okay, and slowly start stitching with a quarter of an inch foot. You're only going to get two or three stitches in before you have to take the first pin out. And if you've got a knee lifter, just take the pressure off that foot and the uh, needle will come out easier. Now we're just going to slowly stitch around keeping that quarter of an inch and as you're coming up to the, the needles and you don't have to raise your presser foot from the back I got a knee lifter so I can just slightly take the pressure off to take that out now we see where it's starting to have a raised piece there well, you can just move it around slightly it does seem to work okay it doesn't end up with um, pleats in there we go and I'm just ever so slightly moving it around taking the pins out as I come to them. Still fiddly. I mean, I'd hope that if we're doing a bigger one it wouldn't be so fiddly because these are quite small pieces really. There you go and I'm coming up now towards the end. I'm using a little pair of scissors could use a quick and pick to just maneuver it into position and you need that to stay there so even though you're going to take that out you either need to hold on to that with a with your scissors or something to stop that moving as it comes up and I like to stitch just one stitch over the edge after I finish that usually helps uh, keep things in place and to the ironing board and you're always going to iron from the big part onto the smaller part like that so it's nicely nicely ironed now and there's the block um, I've started to put it together I've stitched this bottom row together these pieces are not stitched together yet so I've laid it out as it should be and I'm just stitching as I'm going 
going along and putting them back in place.